You've probably heard speculation about the structured nature of the universe. That the filamentary structures of galaxies are stretched by the expansion of space, resulting in the formation of bubbles or voids in the intervening spaces. The general idea is that everything is steadily moving away from everything else because of the expansion of the universe. However, from a practical point of view, this is not entirely true, due to a mysterious force known as gravity. Gravity, the force of attraction, is technically a curvature of space-time resulting from the uneven distribution of mass on small scales. In many cases, gravity is not important. There is no appreciable attraction to surrounding objects, except for the significant gravitational influence of the Earth due to its enormous size. Celestial bodies near the Sun are primarily affected by its gravity, and all stars in a galaxy revolve around a supermassive black hole in the galactic core. It doesn't end there. You may have heard about the Andromeda galaxy approaching us. How is that possible when everything is moving apart? Gravity acts differently on objects that are sufficiently close together and possess enough mass. It pulls them towards each other at a rate faster than the expansion of the universe. This gravitational force is responsible for the formation of galaxies and superclusters, of which we are a part. Gravity serves to bind these galaxy clusters together, leading to rare collisions over extremely long timescales. Interestingly, a recent theory suggests that the Milky Way might have undergone a collision with a large Magellanic cloud-sized diffuse galaxy known as Antlia II. Scientists have identified ripples in the Milky Way that align with the notion of a past collision. The identification of the object that collided with the Milky Way became possible after Gaia discovered the Antlia II galaxy hidden behind our galactic disk. This galaxy, although massive, is difficult to detect because the collision has left it widely scattered and its location behind our galactic disk makes it difficult to observe due to the presence of stars and dust. This brings us to the main topic of this episode, the Great Attractor. The Great Attractor stands out as the most significant concentration of mass over a vast distance. Despite our galaxy being situated between 150 to 250 million light years away, we, along with all neighboring galaxies, are currently moving toward the Great Attractor, estimated to have a mass of approximately 1,000 trillion suns, equivalent to the mass of many thousands of galaxies. The nature of what could be there has been a long-standing mystery. The region where the Great Attractor is located has been concealed behind our galaxy's disk, making it challenging to study. However, advancements in X-ray telescopes have enabled us to see through the galactic disk, leading to the recent detection of thousands of galaxies in the presumed location of the Great Attractor. Surprisingly, the measured mass didn't align with expectations, prompting further analysis. What has been revealed is particularly intriguing. While we are drawn towards the Great Attractor, there appears to be something even more massive situated behind it. Situated 650 million light years away, known as the Shapley Attractor or Shapley Supercluster. This region features densely packed thousands of galaxies with a mass totaling 10,000 trillion suns. Everything within a billion light years is experiencing a gravitational pull toward this massive structure. Conversely, in the opposite direction from the Shapley supercluster, there exists an underdense region where it appears that everything is moving away, termed the dipole repel. The term repel here is not indicative of an actual force pushing mass away. Rather, it is a consequence of the surrounding mass being drawn towards more dense regions due to gravity creating the illusion of repulsion. While some scientists posit the presence of an unknown repelling force, the understanding of the universe is still in its early stages. We observe various phenomena, such as the motion of galaxies, the clustering of dense galaxy groups, and the absence of galaxies in vast voids or repelling regions. The expansion of the universe and the presence of filament-free structures are also noted. Nevertheless, the universe is immense and largely inaccessible. Our observational capabilities are limited by both the extent of our vision and the duration of our lives. Additionally, technological constraints impact what we can explore. Despite these limitations, we have theories attempting to explain our observations. It's highly likely that these theories will evolve as more data becomes available. Some might question the purpose of such endeavors. The exploration of our place in the universe is profoundly fascinating. The human drive for exploration and understanding is truly remarkable. Thank you for watching. If you have any space-related questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. 
subscribe to ensure you don't miss future videos.